Did you know that not eating can actually worsen your IBD symptoms? Surprising, right? Hi, I'm Danielle, and I'm an IBD dietitian. And for those who may not know, IBD, or inflammatory bowel disease, is a condition that causes inflammation in the digestive tract, leading to a variety of really uncomfortable symptoms. My husband, Ari, experienced this firsthand during a flare when he was down to 127 pounds. His strategy? Avoiding eating to minimize symptoms. While it might seem logical to avoid food to reduce discomfort, this approach can unfortunately make things worse. That's why it's crucial we talk about the importance of meal size and timing, particularly for managing IBD. The strategy here is eating smaller meals more frequently throughout the day. And let me explain why. When you haven't eaten for a long period of time, your small intestine can become overly active, leading to increased gas, bloating, and potentially even worsening your IBD symptoms. Also, if you skip meals and then consume a large amount of food all at once because you're starving, your gut might struggle to digest and process that food causing uncomfortable symptoms like diarrhea, bloating, and discomfort like cramping. Instead, consuming five to six smaller meals throughout the day can minimize these symptoms. Your gut can manage smaller amounts of food more efficiently and is less likely to become overly active. Additionally, during a flare, it's common to lose your appetite. If this happens, consuming smaller, more frequent meals can feel more manageable and achievable. And over time, your gut can adapt to a regular eating schedule, essentially training it to expect food at certain times, which may improve your appetite. Small, frequent meals can also optimize your nutritional intake and your body's ability to absorb nutrients. They provide more opportunities to eat nutrient-dense foods. For example, People with IBD often need more protein and calcium during a flare, but our bodies can only absorb a certain amount of these nutrients per sitting. By incorporating these nutrients into multiple meals and snacks throughout the day, you can ensure your body not only digests, but also absorbs the nutrients it needs. So that's why meal size and timing are so important for managing IBD, especially during a flare. Remember, managing IBD is a journey, and you're not alone. Your IBD healthcare team is here to help, to provide you with the information and support you need. If you found this video helpful, please let us know by liking it and subscribing to this channel. Your feedback helps us create content that serves you better. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.